Hi, hello, welcome to Krithi Stitch Script. We are here to discuss about formative and summative assessment from assessment for learning. Uh, this is for both the be it second year's old syllabus or be it second semester new syllabus students. And as we told earlier, you can get the detailed PDF notes for this videos from teacherscript.com. And if you want to hear uh, the Tamil version of this particular video, you can click on the link which I give in the description uh, and you can uh, navigate to that. So what is assessment? Before moving to formative or summative, what is assessment is? It is a process of gathering the data to better understand the strength and weakness of the student learning. So if you want to know the strength and weakness of the student, we need to do some activities or process or we need some data and that is called as assessment. The assessment can be of two types which is formative and summative. Okay, formative assessment is nothing but that helps students to learn and practice. Only through this formative assessment you can learn and practice and you can improve your learning. In our last video role of assessment also we have discussed this. That is assessment for learning and assessment of learning. There itself we have seen what is formative or what is summative assessment. So in assessment for learning, for the learning we need some assessment that is called as formative assessment. right? So through this formative assessment we learn and practice. In, uh, but through the summative assessment what happens is that they ask, assess the student's performance at the end of the year or at the end of the semester or end of the term whatever it may be uh, what you have learned on the whole term what we have learned on the whole year that end final product is being assessed right that is called as summative assessment. When we will have our formative assessment or when to have the formative assessment is that throughout the process. They are the steps for reaching the summative assessment or they are the steps for reaching our uh, final expected outcome. So throughout the process of learning or throughout the process of teaching, throughout the course, we will have our formative assessment. And summative assessment when we will have at the end of the instructional period. As we told earlier, let it be our end of the term or end of the semester or end of the academic year, whatever it may be, at the end of the instructional period, the assessment will be of summative type. And why do we need a formative assessment? The formative assessment identify the gaps and improve the learning. So then and there when you rectify your mistakes, then and there when you improve your learning methods, you can easily achieve what you expect, right? So to identify the gaps, to give you proper feedback on your learning process or on your teaching process for both the teachers and learners, formative assessment helps, right? So, to identify the gaps and to improve our learning or teaching, whatever it may be, we need that formative assessment. Only when we know how the students learn, we can improve our teaching. We will know whether we are traveling in the right path. In the same way, only when they know how they are learning, they can improve it or they can uh, move in the same path, whatever it is. With the positive or negative feedback only, we can improve, right? So, we need this formative assessment to identify the gaps and improve our learning. Why do we need summative assessment then? The summative assessment is required to collect the evidence of student knowledge, skill or proficiency. The summative assessment is the evidence to show them, to show the parents or to show the student itself or to for the teacher or for the community, for whoever it may be. The summative assessment is the evidence to show them what they have learned the whole year, what they have learned the whole semester. Uh, whether they have learned properly, whether they were in the right place, right path to show that we need some evidence to for the proof that is our summative assessment. Okay, And the whole academic year on the 10th standard what they have learned is shown as the evidence in their board exam results. So that is called a summative assessment and we need that to show collect the evidence for um, their knowledge, proficiency or skill whatever they have learned. And how do or how that formative assessment works. The formative assessment approaches support specific student needs. Okay, this, uh, which means that it will support the students uh, here then and there to uh, what the needs they require. Okay, according to the need of an individual student, the formative assessment helps them. That is what they are telling. How does the formative assessment play a role? How does it helps us? That means 
it approaches or it gives the support specific to the individual needs one particular kid may need um, support in writing another kid may need support in um, uh, expressing it orally some others may need help in uh, practical demonstration okay all the kids are not same all their level of learning all their iq level is not same it is different so according to the individual needs will help them or we need to support them that process it is done using this formative assessment then what does that summative assessment or how does it help us it via exit learning products or an cumulative assessment uh, it finally it uh, gives up the cumulative assessment of what they have learned it finally gives the uh, product assessment of the product what they have achieved all through this year okay that is summative assessment Okay, the, to define formative or summative assessment, it is a technique used to monitor learning progress during the instruction and to provide continuous feedback to both student and teacher on learning success and failure. So when you come into that formative assessment, the three things are much important which is, it is the progress during the instruction, okay, to monitor or uh, to see the progress during the instruction, it is throughout the process to provide continuous feedback through this process when you keep monitoring them and provide them a continuous feedback we can help them improve and it is for both the student and teacher these three things are much important in the formative assessment that is throughout the process continuous feedback and for both the student and teacher okay formative assessment helps for both the student and teacher to improve their teaching and their learning then summative assessment, summative assessment is carried out at the end of an event, activity or a process and measure the extent to which the student have attained the desired outcome. It is to measure the uh, desire, whether they have achieved the desired outcome at the end of the academic or end of the uh, event activity or whatever it is. So, so that is summative assessment. As we told, the formative assessment or the stepping stones or the stepping ladders to reach the summative assessment. To reach the final product, you have to go through many process or many activities or many assessment which we call it as formative assessment. Stepping on this formative assessment, we can finally reach our summative assessment. Okay, what are all the examples of formative assessment and summative assessment? We have told formative assessment takes place throughout the process, right? So, throughout your teaching or throughout their learning, what happens in the middle of a class, in, a, in one single period, in the middle of a class, in the middle of a topic, you will be asking them questions, you will be conducting them quiz, we will be conducting sudden tests, uh, we may ask them to do some projects uh, or assignments, your homeworks, uh, uh, on the spot play something like that uh, debates whatever it may be those comes under formative assessment okay they are then and there assessment um, immediate assessment throughout the process to know whether they have learned a particular concept in a whole topic in one lesson in the first lesson first part they have learned or not to assess that you will be having some activities or homeworks or tests something like that right that is called formative assessment so what are all comes under those formative assessment can be a classroom discussion checklist quiz questionnaires peer or self evaluations projects assignments multiple choice observation still many more are there right these sort of things comes under a formative assessment still if you use some other things in your daily uh, uh, teaching you can add them also okay in between intermediate uh, assessment right so whatever you use in your teaching or whatever you have come across, come across or whatever you have learned you can add them to these examples an example of summative assessment is nothing but what is been conducted at the end of the year end of the semester so probably what in the school uh, time what will be our end um, assessment it will be annual examinations for the 10th standard and 12th standard it will be board examination state board examinations or uh, a term examination semester examinations term one term two exams uh, or unit test whatever it may be okay or project evaluation practical examinations and your um, viva OCs, thesis submissions record submissions pro project submissions all these comes under your summative assessment so whatever at the final uh, semester or the final assessment we give we submit those are called as summative assessment 
So this is just a diagrammatic illustration of formative assessment to show how a formative assessment happens or takes place. Uh, even in your exams, if you are being asked for a formative assessment, you can use this diagram, uh, which easily uh, makes the um, evaluator to understand that you know this concept very well. So formative assessment, it helps to find whether the student learning is as per the defined objects. Okay, It helps them to learn uh, whether the student learning is according to the defined object which is they are learning as per the norms whichever is given if you find them yes yes they are learning properly if we um, find them through this assessment that they are learning properly what happens we will provide a feedback yes good you are learning properly you can keep learning like this whatever it is we will give a feedback and we will continue teaching as per the plan but if in case if we find that some uh, kids are finding it difficulty or they are not learning it properly they are not understanding it if some problem is there in that particular topic whatever it is what happens we'll conduct a diagnostic test to know where the problem comes or where the problem arises whether we have to teach uh, change our teaching methods or we have to do some other activities for them to support more whatever it is conducting some diagnostic test with the help of that diagnostic text, we have to undertake the remedial teaching. We have to change uh, strategies. We have to use different methods. We have to use different um, teaching aids to make them understand easily and make them uh, make the concept more comfortable or easy for them to learn. So through this remedial teaching, we have to conduct uh, after this remedial teaching, we have to conduct a remedial test to know whether they have understood this for the second time so first time when we are uh, giving formative assessment we found that they have not understood so we ch changed our um, teaching methods through this remedial teaching we should know whether they have understood or not so we have to conduct some remedial test if they have passed on this remedial test if they understood then we can continue as per the plan or else again the same thing should be continued we have to teach them with some other methods or some other ways okay so this will happen so once they are thorough with that particular topic then only we can move on to the next one this process is called formative assessment when we go through this uh, methods for each and every topic so at the end what happens they will be uh, well versed in all the topics whichever we teach them next a diagrammatic illustration of summative assessment how we can provide a summative assessment is that summative assessment it looks for whether a particular level of learning proficiency is achieved or not so it's look for a particular level right uh, whether that 10th standard the whole pro whole uh, curriculum is being learned or for that semester everything has been learned the five major papers means if that five major paper they are thorough with so it uh, aims for a particular uh, learning proficiency is achieved or not so representing the level of learning achievement of student by marks are great promoting the student to next higher level so based on that marks based on that uh, level of learning achievement what happens they we decide whether they can be promoted to next level or not then arranging for further learning of the same course by retaining them in either two things should happen right so through that uh, summative assessment we know the learning proficiency of that particular grade or particular class then if they have learnt well, we will just promote them to next class or else we have to detain them and teach them the whole thing and then only we have to move on to the next one. So this is summative assessment. Next moving on to the difference of difference between formative and summative assessment is formative assessment it refers to the variety of assessment procedures that provides required information to adjust teaching during the learning process this during is much more important wherever or whenever you write or talk about the formative assessment during the process throughout the process is most important so it refers the variety of assessment procedure we will be using various assessment procedures uh, to get the required information during the teaching process or during the learning process summative assessment is defined as a standard for evaluating the learning of students it is a standard definitions for evaluating them what they have learned or the whole year formative is diagnostic in nature summative is evaluative so through formative assessment we told that we'll diagnose where we go wrong where they are learning having that learning difficulties so formative is diagnostic in nature but summative is just an evaluation we'll just find out whether they have learned or not it's an just evaluation process formative is assessment for learning as we told earlier in our last video itself the role of assessment assessment for learning comes under formative and assessment of learning comes under summative assessment 
formative occurs as an ongoing process that is either monthly or quarterly so either term wise or whatever it can be it can be at the intermediate terms it can be either monthly or quarterly or even the during the classes whichever we conduct they are formative assessment summative assessment only at a specific interval of time okay that semester wise exams or annual exams which are normally at the end of the course after completing that course we have that exams they are summative exams informative assessment is conducted to enhance the learning of students in summative assessment is conducted to judge, judge the students performance so through formative assessment what happens we can improve our learning we will enhance our learning but through summative assessment we can only judge the students performance we can judge whether they have learned or not and how far they have learned okay so formative assessment is undertaken to monitor students learning summative assessment aims at evaluating the students learning so we will uh, monitor the students learning how far they are doing whether they are doing it well or not if at all they are not doing it well what we can do to improve them all those comes in a formative assessment in summative assessment we will just evaluate whether they are uh, fit for to go to next class or uh, they have to retain here to make it more clear formative assessment is done using test and summative assessment we carried out with exams so final exams we always do, we never tell them both they are writing both test we are never tell we they are writing annual test okay midterm test we may tell they may uh, summative is only through exams formative assessment content area being tested is small but in depth evaluation is done see formative and summative uh, differs in this point also much more difference you can see which is the formative assessment will test a small area uh, see for example in a maths when you are going to test one uh, algebra chapter when you test the whole algebra chapter that is summative right when you test uh, that 1.1 exercise 1.1 alone that is formative so here what happens the content is tested is very small in uh, in a in one lesson we will test one only one, only one part see for example when we are uh, studying a lesson in science human body or organ systems of human when you are testing only one organ system when you are talking about the digestive system tomorrow test in digestive system that is a small part in that whole lesson a small part in the whole subject so that is formative so when you are testing that particular small part of a big lesson or one particular subject what happens we will test it in depth we will ask them what are all the possible question from that particular part right that is formative assessment that is the content area is tested as small but it is in depth evaluation but when we talk about summative assessment that organ system or that algebra is become a part of many other chapters so for annual exam we will be having five lessons six lessons or eight lessons among that is one lesson is that organ system or algebra whatever it is so there what happens the probability of getting questions from that particular part or particular subject or particular lesson is uh, minimized you have to ask questions from all the eight lessons or all the 10 chapters whatever they have for their annual exams so in each chapter or in each part the probability of getting questions is getting minimized in summative assessment so what happens is that the test large portion or content but lacks the depth of evaluation so in depth evaluation will happen only in formative assessment and testing large portions happens in summative assessment next it reveals how well the students have learned the portions so through formative assessment you can uh, answer how well they learned how far in depth because it has in depth evaluation right so you will understand how far or how well they have learned that portions in summative assessment it assesses the overall achievement in each subject of the course so as we told it will show in overall in science what they have scored in overall maths what they have scored that is for summative assessment in particular subject each uh, each lessons in particular lesson each different parts okay uh, what they have learned that is formative assessment it is an integral part of teaching learning process so formative assessment is an integral part of teaching learning process we can improve for teaching also and for learning in the first slide itself we told you it's for both students and teachers so it is an integral part of teaching learning process summative assessment is carried out at the terminal stage of teaching learning process at the end at the end of the teaching learning process is summative assessment 
the grades obtained in formative assessment will tell about the students understanding ability so the formative assessment always gives you what they have understood you can grade them according to their understanding ability the formative assessment grades are always lesser than summative assessment grade which means we are testing very small um, subject or very small content so we'll be testing them for either 10 marks or 20 marks like that so the grades will be always less than summative assessment the grades of summative assessment will determine whether the students should be promoted or not so through this uh, summative assessment evaluation results you will decide whether they have to be promoted or not so this is a complete difference about formative and summative assessment so when you go through the pdf from that teacher script you will be having still um, more in detail uh, i have included features of formative assessment and summative assessment uses of formative assessment and summative assessment you may be thinking why i have not explained it here so whatever it may be the concept is the same only whatever i have given in this uh, difference is only the in features it will be given as points okay in uses it will be given with some other words so i have given those in pdf for you to know or uh, for you to write if they have asked in exam so in exam they may ask you uh, give uh, uses of formative assessment and summative assessment like that if they ask you can write the same thing in different words or phrases so that I have given all those things in PDF but the concept I have explained in this video so if you want in more detail you can just go through those PDFs also it's in teacherscript.com so nothing but formative is it's a uh, just an example thing to know when the cook tastes the soup that is formative as well so in the process of cooking we every one of us when we cook we'll just taste whether to know uh, it's perfect with salt or spice or anything has to be added okay so that process is called formative assessment and finally when the guest tastes it that is summative assessment that is a final product that is summative assessment it's a so to conclude this it's a balanced assessment in based on both the two that is when both the formative and assessment is balanced the learning is an improved learning when we have the proper formative assessments the process of formative assessment are very good and the feedback is good automatically we'll have a good results in our summative assessment that is the balanced assessment based on both the two that provides necessary information about next step of the teachers to measure the students learning regarding content standards so both all these formative and summative gives you what has to be done next it has to be balanced both the formative and summative in balance gives a good learning so this is about formative and summative assessment as we told earlier for the pdf you can go to www.teacherscript.com and for more other videos stay tuned with us 